Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 1130 in Honolulu, 530 in New York. It is Wednesday, April 17th, 2019, and this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Mixed bag in the precious metals markets with gold trading slightly lower on the day and the rest of the complex, silver, platinum, and palladium showing some gains, palladium specifically showing a large gain of course, we'll talk about that as we pull up our technical studies. We are looking at a price point in gold where there is a potential for there to be some support in this area. This is based on technical indicators and recent market bottoms that occurred in January. And as I said, when we look at our charts, I'll make that a little bit more clear. Let's take a look at current pricing. First of all, gold currently down about a dollar on the day at 1276.20. But as I said, the rest of the complex was higher. Silver gained two cents at 1493 and a half. Platinum gained a full percentage point or $8.80, closing at 8.93. And lastly, we had palladium up almost 4%, 3.77. Currently at $13.78.50, which is a net gain of $50 on the day. Let's take a look at our technical studies. Traders, there's absolutely no doubt that while today's pricing took gold to the lowest value this year, today and yesterday, we are starting to see some potential signs of support. We'll go through them in a second. We're looking at a daily chart of Gold futures, this being the most active June contract, we've highlighted the area when we ha sustained or saw gold sustain, excuse me, some extreme chart damage. And that really occurred on Monday of this week. And although it closed above the 100 day moving average and above this support line, and once again, the support line is a simple trend line that is created by matching two lows, the low that was achieved back in November of last year, it occurs at roughly 1190 and change. And this most recent low before the break, which occurred just at the beginning of April, and that would be this candle right here. What we can say is that although we sustained it and broke through there, it was the following day or yesterday's trading activity in which we really saw that chart damage come to a head. Because on this pretty strong sell-off, it not only closed below this support line, which is now resistance, it also broke below the 100-day moving average, which is in blue. And as you can see, the 100-day moving average roughly followed this trend line. Now, what is significant about today when we had the lowest low of the year? How are we seeing potential support? Well, it comes in two different pieces of separate information. The first thing is if we look at this particular price area right here, and I've just highlighted it in green, what we can see is that we had some lows that came in. They were the former lows of the year. They occur right here, and that is occurring precisely at the middle of January in the market, and the market actually took out 1276, these lows right here. Well, they match the current lows. So we have matching lows that are coming in, and these are the lowest trading points this year. Second of all, they both occurred at the 0.38% retracement level. And again, this is a pretty long data set. Let me compress the chart just a little bit and also convert this daily chart into a weekly chart so we can fit the entire data set on the screen because it is the longest of the FIB retracements we're using. As you can see, there are numbers that come in about two thirds of the screen in and those are simply looking at these lows from 1196 up to this year's highs at 1350. However, the larger of the two data sets, and that is where this number 1276 is coming from, actually begins at the end of 2016. Gold's trading at approximately 1120 up unto this record high that has been insurpassable over the last three years at 1370. Now, when we use this long data set, the 0.38% retracement comes in at precisely the lows that we're witnessing right now at about 1276. 
And you can also see on the weekly chart how that matches these lows that came in at the beginning of the year. So because the data set we're using is so long, I believe it holds some very, very strong technical weight and really tells me that this is an area that we could see the market find support. Now, in order to confirm that, we're going to have to see some sort of a V or a pivot. And simply what I mean by that is begin to see higher pricing. Of course, we're midweek now, so we would simply see this long red candle begin to have a lower wick or lower tail. However, the one thing that I can say is that if we do get some sort of a bounce off of this point, we will have effectively ended this correction because on a weekly chart, this correction really started at 1350. We did see this one bounce here, but that was kind of a failure in terms of any sustained rally. So the market came down, came back up almost like an A, B, and a C. So we'll have to see if this price point provides any kind of technical support. And obviously, we'll have to see a shift in the fundamental data before that happens. It is for that reason that my recommendation is to main our current flat stance in gold and silver and await to see whether or not we find support coming into the market. However, the same cannot be said for palladium. And traders, we're looking at a daily chart of palladium futures. What we can say is it is absolutely beating to a different drummer. We have particular supply issues in that Russia and South Africa are the only places metal is mined. One and two, Russia controls the entire supply chain of palladium as well as platinum. We had about a $50 rise in trading today. We're now in the afternoon session, Globex. It's trading off by 60 cents at 1378. But what we can say is that we had a brilliant recovery in this market. We talked about this over the last couple of days that this 100 day moving average, that's the only one I have up, seems to be the point in which this market wants to find support. We have had one daily occasion in which it traded below it and went to the 0.38% retracement level. This is a much shorter retracement level. It begins really in 2018 all the way to present, but it seems to be providing some good, solid technical evidence that we could have seen the lows come in to palladium during this recent decline. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.